in the house, I remember smelling it and going, what, what the heck is going on out here? So I walk into the kitchen. I'm like, what are you doing? So I'm making beer. All right. Well, do you need a hand with anything? My first experience home brewing was with my dad. I thought it was so cool. And it started to bubble, and you got that foam on the top of it. And I was in love. Oh, watch this part. It's the fun part. When you make home brew, you put yourself into it, your personality, your love. That emerges when you drink it. We start home brewing, and your friends like your beer, and they say, dude, your beer's really good. You should sell it. Eventually, some people think, well, I don't know why I couldn't. Crystal, uh, thank, thank you for the opportunity for the interview, for your time. Uh, really fun documentary, I, I, gotta, I gotta say it, you know. I'm a fan of beer, so, you know, it's just, you know, that right, 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 right down my alley. Uh, I love the title. So I think the first question has to, you know, come be what's the, what, how did the title came about? Bro, uh, Brew Minds. Well, you know, it's like, think about like, beers that there's like a whole lot of love going through it there's a whole lot of people first off there's just love in the community where like there's a whole just sort of a lot of generosity of from one brewer to another one crapper one craft drinker to another um but also it's about you know just sort of putting your passion into a liquid and in some ways it's like a romance with beer um so that's part of where the title and then the other thing is like you know there's a lot of like great folks a lot of great dudes and women in craft beer so that's also the brewman's i i gotta ask are you a fan of beers i mean you, you got you gotta be a fan of beers you know to come into this price no, right <laughs> i'm just kidding no i love beers <laughs> <laughs> yes i love beers but you know what i didn't love beers i, I don't start Go ahead. <laughs> Ask your question. No, I, I mean, this, the, I asked the question because, again, I'm a fan of beers. I have a lot of different companies that support my channel, beer companies that yeah. support my channel. I, I, I saw really interesting how, you know, this whole, you know, homebrew uh, uh, project and this whole homebrew industry has come about. And I, I, I'm absolutely, I, 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 you know, I enjoy that you, 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 you were able to get some time with Samuel Adams because to me, he's like the, the, the 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 man when it comes to how to make it in homebrew, but it but it's just to me the whole homebrew community took a life as, by, by its, its own when you know when people are starting you know getting into it. So I think you know you gotta be, be a fan of beer just to get into the whole homebrew thing uh, you know thing, and then you gotta be a fan of beer just to you jump into a point like this one. So maybe how did this project came about for you? Well, so. Um... You know, I'm a, I have a good friend who's a home brewer, and uh, he told me about one of these homebrew club meetings that he had, and I was just blown away because it, it just didn't sound like anything I ever heard of before, um, where, you know, you show up, you bring your beers, you share it with everybody, um, and then, you know, everybody tastes it, you tell them exactly how you made it, they give you feedback, oh, it's pretty good, or it's a little, whatever, it's too, too awkward, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, um, and in doing so, you, you get better. And then um, when I sort of put two and two together that, oh, wait a second. So craft beer um, is the product of home brewers. I was like, I wonder if that still is true in craft beer where you have these home brewers who like care about their competitors. And then I realized like, yeah, for the most part, that's, that's pretty much true. It's like, there's a whole lot of collaboration and working together with competitors. Strangest thing in like business, right? You don't tell, you don't work with your your enemy, you know, your competitor, because you're trying to push them out of business or whatever it is. But in craft beer, there's, there's a different idea. It's like there's something more important than just making money. You just mentioned something to me that is really important. That I, I, I'm glad. I, I'm glad it's you know part of, part of the documentary. Yes, and you know the trade secrets, the the my recipe, your recipe, competition, and everything. How did you find it difficult to take that? You know, you know, get that information out from the people that you were interviewing and the people you were following. Were they resistant to 
giving some information about their business because again you just said it yourself i mean uh, this is a community but sometimes it becomes to a business and then we gotta think about what we're doing here well um i think the interesting thing is that, like a lot of these recipes for these classic beers for a sierra nevada pale ale or um, a pliny the elder there are recipes out there you can find they're on these apps and they'll tell you use this much this use this use this kind of yeast but here's the thing even if you follow the exact recipe that the brewery uses your beer is going to taste differently because mm -hmm. they're even within that, there are all kinds of other variables, like how much you need to mash to, what's your good pH, but you know, um, which is kind of like points back to the fact that um, the making beer is kind of simple, but making really good beer, kind of challenging, you know, which is, it makes it kind of cool. It's like there's sort okay. of infinite diversity in the world of beer, you know? Question, how, how long did it take to do the whole documentary? I mean, it, to me, it felt like a different, it, to, me, to me, it felt like a, a long way between the start and then the other different things that we were trying to, to present. So how long, how long did the, the filming process uh, was about? Well, so here's the thing with documentaries, these things take a long time to make, <laughs> especially, well, if you make them the way I do, because you want to see a story happen and you want to see things change and people grow. So I started making this in um, the fall of 2016, and we finished we finished with the film last year in March, <laughs> March 2020. So yeah. it was like three and a half years, you know. I, I asked the question because I felt that I mean <laughs> I, I I felt the the different you know the different stages of what we were filming what we we're trying to present. Um, I think one more question or two more questions before I let you go. Um, did you taste any of the beers that you were where you were filming? Did 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 you have did you had any any insight of what, what of the beers that they were that they were they were doing when and they were grading when they were filming? Did I taste any of the beer? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> the thing is, I want to be you. I was like, <laughs> I, 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 you know, if I was Crystal, I was like. Uh, can I taste that just to make sure that it's working? You know that this is this is really craft beer. That's what. Quality that's control. not much of quality control. I gotta know what I'm making the film about. Exactly. exactly. Okay, we got we gotta learn. We gotta learn. <laughs> this is a business thing. Oh yeah. Well, no, we. Uh, I had a great crew with me, um, and we would just roll through you know these breweries and sit sit down and do this interview, and then we'd roll to the to their tap room, and we hadn't tasted. It. It's like, but yeah, I mean, what's so the other thing is like, you know, when you've spent a lot of time working on a film and none of us are going to make much money at all from this, right? I mean, you, you do, you make films like this because you love it. Um, so part of the, part of the pay that we all get is like working together and, and working on a project that's fun. And drinking a couple of beers. <laughs> hey, final question. You come from making documentaries on sport. That's what you're known for. And you, you jump into this project, which basically I call a, a completely different monster. What, were you, what, what, what you found was challenging you know, for making your typical sports documentary into something like this, which basically you said it. To me, I envy you. I would love to be part of your crew, just to have, having fun, learning and, and, and experiencing this, uh, this community. So what you, know, what you found different or challenging? Whew, what isn't challenging when you're making a film? It's like just, it's not unlike um, opening a brewery. It's just like one obstacle after another. I mean, you know, funding is always an issue. Um, making, you know, sometimes um, working with your subjects because one of them's having a baby, so they're not available, or, you know, or someone gets cold feet. Um, there's just I mean it's like you know you just deal with it and you just kind of you keep marching on a lot like those some of those fabulous early uh, craft brewers it's like what do you mean we're gonna fail you, you just you just refuse to fail and you just figure out a way like well we'll figure it out you know? 
one one final pitch to you know to somebody that's not a you know fan of, fan of beer and I just you know you, you want them to learn a little bit of, about this community you know what would you tell them why would you want them to see this documentary not to my audience my audience gonna love it I, I loved it so my audience gonna love it so people you know beyond fans of brewing and, and beers why would you recommend they see the movie well I think you know it, it, I think it shows a lot of um, people who have a dream and pursue it. You know, it's like, there's a lot of just starting up a business in this and dealing with the obstacles and the problems that get in your way. It's like, it's not easy, you know, um, to start something up. But if you dream hard enough and you figure stuff out along the way, you can make it happen. And I think, I mean, I, I really do hope that um, people will see the the main characters in it because I think they're all pretty awesome. And there's like this wonderful like humanness that I think comes from them, you know, from Dan and Eric and Michael from Liberation and then the Sundstrom family. It's like these are these are awesome real people, um, and I I think they're kind of funny too. The, <laughs> it's like I think the film's funny so I hope they could I hope, I hope people get that it's like they come away with like feeling like yeah these are awesome Oops. hey again thank you if there's a bromance part two of the, you know <laughs> I, I invite you to come down to Puerto Rico where I'm at we have a bunch of different the, uh, the you know brew, breweries in here that you know they, yeah they, 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 all style of, of uh, and I say that because much of them support my channel, so I know, I know what they do. So, you know, uh, if there, there's a bromance part two, bromance part two, just bring, bring them down to Puerto Rico so we can uh, do, do the commentary on what, what are the different uh, beers that we do down here. But again, congratulations on everyone out there, the commentary, really good commentary. I really loved it. And I, 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 I agree with you. There's a lot of heart in there. There's a lot of humanity in there. I, I think uh, people are going to enjoy that. Again, thank you for your time. Thanks. And I, I don't have to be start making a second film. I can be just doing research down in Puerto Rico. Exactly. Exactly. That's what <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Right, yeah.